Good evening. So imagine you're out. You, uh, imagine if you're 35, female, successful accountant at PwC, and the guy you've been dating is a reformed 30K millionaire you picked up on McKinney Avenue. The last, oh, you say, oh, that would, because I've driven many of these couples around in 3,000 Ubers. So you have finally gotten this guy to reform his credit. You got rid of his truck that he's paying $2,000 a month six months ago. Um, he doesn't have any money because he's gone out on too many of these T.O. Uh, dates of $400. <laughs> and you're out. <laughs> and you're, and so you have decided to move in. And so you're at West Elm, and you have picked this awesome sofa. Oh, I'm a what? Oh. <laughs> I'm a walker. I'm, I'm a walker. I, I walk in front of troops. Um, so, so, yeah, you're at West Elm, and you finally found this great sofa, but that two-door two BMW that, you, that, you, uh, that your father gave you 10 years ago just doesn't have enough room for that, for that sofa in. So you're like, what do I do? Because I have the plumber coming from Homeless in an hour. And you're like, I wish I had a pickup in my truck. I had a pickup in my pocket. And guess what? The guy at West Elm tells you, hey, download the pickup app, and a guy who has already been background checked, who's insured up to $20,000 a load, will be there in 40 minutes. And you can go ahead and go home to hang out with the homeless guy. <laughs> so that's where we are. And so that's where you can get with pickup. And pickup is an app powered service company uh, that helps consumers get bulky items from point A to point B uh, without getting a hernia. All right, so some fun facts. So uh, Pickup has been in business since June of 2014. Uh, we're a female and veteran co-founded uh, company that's headquartered in Addison. Um, we've got approximately 18, uh, we have six full-time employees and 17 others that are on a contract basis in Columbia, Texas, California, and a few other places. Um, so right now we've been operating in Dallas since January of 2015. We've done several thousand runs. Um, we have approximately 60 drivers. We're probably gonna add 10 more this week, so we'll be up to 70. Uh, most of our drivers uh, stay with us um, for three times the amount of time that you do with Uber. And Uber, is they, they, it's like 90 days. And so with us, they stay with us for 10 days. Um, again, mo a third of our guys are either first responders. What's that? The peanut gallery? Oh, they stay 10 months. They stay 10 months. <laughs> Sorry, 10 days, 10 months. So... Uh, yeah, they stay with it. So, you know, with Uber drivers, they stay with them for about 90 days. With us, they stay um, about 10 months. We usually know about three times. So they're good guys, and we can get them on demand. Um, so our customer, as I alluded to, is uh, 35, uh, female, is busy professional, and um, needs some help getting the heavy stuff into our into condo. Um, also, the flip side of that, too, is a lot of places like IO Metro and West Elm, they lose a lot of sales because there's a lot of friction, because there's no way to get this home, and you don't want to spend $100 or $200 to get this stuff to your house. And that's where we come in, because we're 30 to 50% less. So a lot of people like our business. The customers like our business, um, because you know we're making five-figure uh, income every month. The investors really like us because we've been able to raise three rounds, uh, totaling probably several million dollars. You might have heard of this guy. He likes to fly helicopters. His name is Ross Perot Jr. He just announced that he's funding us uh, two weeks ago. And, and more importantly, uh, so we have pickup trucks. Americans like pickup trucks. There's a lot of hauling capacity that's out there. There's about two and a half million pickup trucks um, that go unused. Oh, wow. 
Um, so we've been uh, really successful with using press to drive our business. That's how we found our investor, Ross Perot Jr. He actually read the paper, the thing called, it's in a paper, and he read about us, and he's like, hey, I gotta go talk to those guys on Monday. And within 45 days, we're closed. So, that's where we are. I have a quick question. After you deliver something from Ikea, will you all come inside and put it together for us? Yes, we will. The guy, so the great thing about this is we literally have a guy. We call him Mrs. Trout now because we have a client that hires us, and she requests the same guy every time, and he goes and spends eight hours putting all her stuff, $30,000 worth of stuff, together in downtown Fort Worth. So yes, we have, the guys have tools, um, yes. <laughs> exactly. Hey Bill. Yeah. So can you tell me a little bit about the user experience because I'm not really clear. Okay. How am I going to get it, um, you know, what, how do I get a quote? How do I understand what it's going to cost right. me before the sh truck shows up? Great question. So it works a lot like Uber. We're, we work a lot like Uber. Okay, you basically download the app. Uh, just like you would with Uber, and um, the, the, the order will go out to the closest guy within 30 miles, and they'll be to your door within usually about 40 minutes, and, um, and then they go to wherever you tell them to go, so you don't even have to be there. You can go to West Elm, pick up your sofa, and bring it to your house and drop it off, but the great thing about that over Amazon Prime or some of these others is we'll actually take it indoors and we'll set it up for you. Um, all our guys will call you to help coordinate this because logistics does take coordination and uh, whether through text or through a phone call and, and then when it's over you just get your card uh, charged. Pretty simple. We, we make, oh, we make money, Let's t I'll piggyback on this, we make money $1.50 per mile, $1.50 per minute, a minimum of $45 order, $25 of that goes to the driver, ask any Uber driver how much they're making. I know I make, on average, about $7 a trip. So I'm not very good at math because I only went to a third-rate school, so I think that's like four, four times as much. That's awesome. So, yeah, so, yeah. All right, um, so right here, hey. Right. Um, so, oh, I was just going to say, uh, so I know, that, I know that we, this is a David question, by the way. Um, I know that we have a uh, uh, at least one mover uh, here in the audience. Yeah. Um, so movers on a regular basis are used to bringing sofas and all this stuff indoors. Yes. Uh, the the pickup drivers and things like that that you bring on, it's much more of the sharing economy type of thing. So how do you deal with the maybe lack of experience of people finagling things through doors and crazy? crazy contraptions that movers so, usually deal with on a regular basis? So, that's, that's a great question. What we're here to address is um, a lot of people, um, we're a lot less. Most of our guys, like I said, 50% of our guys are either veterans or uh, firefighters or police officers or EMS, so they're kind of used to finagling heavy equipment. Have you ever seen a fire hose? It's, it's pretty, pretty powerful. Have you ever seen a guy with a 100-pound pack on his back? Pretty easy, so he's gonna be able to deal with that. Our sweet spot is this. We're not a FedEx, we're not a freight company. Most of those take two to 10 days. Even same day delivery, that's a whole 24 hours. We will be there and get your mission done in like an hour at a fraction of the cost. So that seems like a pretty good deal. How about you? All right. Uh, hello? Yeah, you must be hiring only guys with big tools since they can carry a sofa all by themselves. Well, th this is a great, this is a great thing. This is another great question because we realize that that sometimes you might need a helper. So we have an 800, an 800 phone number. This is about a third of our business. You, you can call our 800 number and we will schedule a second guy to come to your location. Now it'll cost you twice as much, but will still be half as much as the others. That's up to the customer, but it's also that's why we also exactly. But that's why we call ahead to find out if we're going to have some help on that side of the transaction. Does this answer your question? Yeah. 
Yes? Yeah. Yes, ma'am. I was just curious about, so is this exclusively just for moving furniture? Like you go to Ikea no. and purchase something? No. I'm not it's understanding not, it, what the full no, market it's, of uh, it is. No, it's not. Um, that just happens to be our four or five largest, um, most amount of items that we move, tables, chairs, uh, sofas. We've moved automobile parts. Um, we have moved uh, printing, printing jobs. So we're pretty wide open. If you can fit in a pickup truck, we're there. Bodies. Uh, we're not going to talk about my former life, so we're good. <laughs>